I get it. February is peak seasonal affective disorder. Here in Southern Ontario, we had a grand total of 12 hours of sunshine for the entire month of January. Frankly, I'd mind that more if I wasn't completely sidelined with the flu for an entire week and alternating between freezing and sweating my ass off underneath a mountain of blankets. And I've only just recently managed to claw my way out of that pit of phlegm and mucus. Um, and I'm still a little foggy, not 100%, a little distracted. So hopefully you're finding ways of coping with this weather and other sundry stressors in your life, whatever they may be. Um, maybe you're a couple weeks deep into your Hugo routine, you've cleaned out Yankee Candle, you've got your fleece onesie on, and you're sipping your peach rooibos tea. If that's the case, Maria Helene Bertino's 2 a.m. at the Cat's Pajamas is the perfect winter comfort read. What sold me completely was someone saying that if you'd liked Where'd You Go Bernadette, this is a fantastic also read, and they are right. Uh, Maria Helene Bertino is fantastically fun and writes like a house on fire. I mean, if you're not convinced, go down to your bookstore, pick up the book, check out the first chapter, and just see some of that writing where musicians arpeggiate through the park. Uh, flurries, somersault, reconsider and double back, eggs, cuss and snap on a kitchen stove, and uh, Madeleine has never had a caramel apple and she wants to taste one more than she wants God's love. I mean, I love the writing in this book. The book opens on a dark, dark 7 a.m. on Christmas Eve, Eve. Madeleine Altamar is a focused nine-year-old looking into a mirror, practicing her shimmy with grim determination. She's smoking Newport menthols in a cockroach-infested apartment she shares with her father, who is still grieving the death of his wife and can barely move from his bed. I don't know what I was expecting, but this wasn't it. Bertina weaves a story with a myriad of characters that inevitably converge at 2 a.m. at the Cat's Pajamas, which is a jazz club at the heart of Philadelphia. Bertino says it took nearly 11 years to write this book, and, but the language doesn't feel ponderous or belabored. It's really light and witty and sharp, and it hides the loss that is at the heart of all these stories of frayed connections and loneliness born out of loss and circumstance and thwarted ambition and this how did I end up here sentiment. For example, Bertino describes Madeleine. Madeleine spends her recesses alone, singing scales quietly under her breath. Madeleine has no friends, and not because she contains a tender grace that fifth graders detect and loathe, not because she has a natural ability that points her starward, though she does. No, Madeleine has no friends because she's a jerk. You can also get a taste of Bertino's wry sense of humor in a short story available at Electric Lit called Carry Me Home, Sisters of St. Joseph. So, a relatively quick review, but I don't know about you, 2017 for me has kicked off strong with some fantastic reads I'm excited to share with you guys. I've also been tagged with the Anything But Books tag and a Not A Newbie Booktube tag, which I'm excited to try out as well. In any case, I hope you're avoiding the sickness um, and it's not debilitating you. You're dealing with your seasonal affective disorder and other sundry stressors in your life, whatever they may be. Um, and in the meantime, here's hoping you have a great reading week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.